Hey guys! Today I'm going to be doing a Pottery Barn haul, but first I wanted to announce the giveaway winner for the fall blanket, and the winner is... Elizabeth V. I'm so excited for you. Thank you so much for entering and for following my channel. And I will go ahead and get the blanket out to you. Okay, so now on to the haul. So my husband and I um, obviously bought a new home and a few months ago we bought some lighting through Pottery Barn. But it turns out that the sconces that we bought don't work with the outside like stone that we have out there. So we had to return them, but one of them they couldn't return because like the SKU number was wrong or something. And so they just gave us a store credit for that one, which was exciting because that meant that I got to do some pottery barn shopping. So number one, we needed lamps. So I actually sold the lamps that I had before because they were just the wrong color. And so I was able to put some of that money towards uh, the lamps, which actually ended up buying one lamp pretty much. Um, and then the other lamp I got to get uh, through store credit. So here is the lamp and it is <laughs> super massive. The only thing is that in the store it had like a greenish tint and then when they had it on it had like a minty tint and the colors that I have in my family room are off-white, minty, aqua blue, navy blue and a touch of red and a touch of green and a touch of yellow. So kind of a lot of colors going on there but I've really been liking the way that it's been turning out so far. So I thought that the green in this and the minty color in this would work well but when I got it into my house like it looks more gray which is fine because we have um, a pendant light above our dining room table which you've probably seen in some of my videos. So it's pretty much the exact same color as that. So it does go with what I'm doing, um, but I just thought it was a different color. So I'm kind of anxious to turn it on and see how it looks. But it had a really pretty lampshade on it uh, that I was going to get, but the lampshade was 79. And so the lampshade was actually more expensive than the lamps themselves. And these are like pretty sturdy lamps. So I thought I could just go to Target and get some lamps for cheaper than $79. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, I got two of these. So next up, I got this um, doggy basket and it's in the shape of a bone, which I thought was really cute. I like to have the toys in a basket so that they can grab them whenever they want, especially Feather, she likes to play with toys like all day long. But what I don't like is when I'm trying to clean up the toys because somebody's coming over, I'll get all of the toys in the basket and then literally like five seconds later, she's pulling half of them out. So I liked this basket because I can just leave it open for days that nobody's coming over and my house doesn't have to be spotless and they can just grab the toys as they want to. But on days that people are coming over and I need to keep the house clean, I can lock it so they can't get at their toys. I'll probably keep a couple of them out because Feather would go crazy if there wasn't a toy out for her, but I can put the majority of the toys locked up so that they can't get to them until after the people leave. So of course Pottery Barn had all of their fall decorations out and I just love that store. I always want to just go inside a Pottery Barn and just sit on the couch and just pretend that I live there because their store is just so beautifully set up and I absolutely love fall and fall decorations. So of course I had a walk away with a turkey. Hi turkey, you're my favorite. So I liked this one because I just think that it's absolutely beautiful. It has like some branches and these are corn husks. And I don't know what all of this is, but I think that it just looks really beautiful and sophisticated. And I think that it's gonna make a great addition to our um, Thanksgiving table. And I think we're gonna be hosting Thanksgiving this year. So I'm super excited to put this little guy on our Thanksgiving table and I just love him. I remember as a kid I would get magazines and I would like cut out things that I loved. Whenever there was a turkey like this on top of a Thanksgiving table, I would always cut it out and like put it on my little vision board. So I'm super excited that I finally got one and I'm going to be doing a Thanksgiving table setup and showing you guys how I'm going to set my Thanksgiving table. So that will be up in probably just a couple of weeks. I think I'm gonna put it up like the first week in November, which isn't that far away. So look out for that if you would like to see how I'm going to decorate and set up my Thanksgiving table. And this guy will definitely be on there. I got these candlesticks from Pottery Barn and they might look a little bit crazy, but I have been eyeing these on Pinterest. I pinned them on my Pinterest, I think a couple of months ago. 
and the way that they looked in the magazine and the way that they looked in the store is just absolutely beautiful. It's right in my style. I think it looks like a little country slash vintage and this is the biggest one that they sell and it has three legs to it and I want to put these on my fireplace mantle and then of course I have to put candlesticks inside of them. So once you finish them off with the candlesticks, it just looks so beautiful. So I got a big one and a medium one and then they also sell a smaller one as well. Um, and yeah, I'm just super excited to finally add these to my collection. I've had my eye on them and I think that it's going to look beautiful on our fireplace and give it a dramatic and vintage effect, which is what I was going for. So I'm super excited about these. I forgot about this little guy, which isn't little at all. It's actually about two feet big. Um, and this is like a jug thing. If you've <laughs> looked at a Pottery Barn magazine, you've probably seen these. Um, and what they do is they get big branches and leaves and they put them inside of it and they just leave it on the floor. And it gives quite a dramatic effect because in the end it ends up being like four to five feet tall. So I put this guy in front of the window and I just have to get some branches and flowers to put inside of there. Uh, so I'm super excited to have this. I've been wanting one for a long time, but they are quite expensive. I think this was like 130, but since we had the store credit, I thought it was a good opportunity to finally pick one up. And I don't know if you can tell because the lighting's kind of weird, but it's like a minty blue color. So I thought that it would look perfect. So then, of course, we had to stop inside of Anthropology. I had a gift that I was going to get for my friend and I wanted to sh hurry up and shoot that video of me putting together the gift basket for her. So I wanted to stop in there, but you can't just stop inside of Anthropology and get what you're supposed to get. First thing that I picked up was this little oven mitt and it's like exactly my style. Like I said, for our family room and kitchen, we're doing like ivory and mint with um, navy blue and a touch of red and then a touch of green and a touch of yellow. And so this just kind of goes along with my kitchen color scheme perfectly and I just love the polka dots and it just makes me happy. So then last but not least, I got this platter that I absolutely love. It was on my to-do list of things to buy for the kitchen and family room. So what I'm doing is there's a little bay window in the kitchen and I'm going to be putting platters and plates above the window on the wall. And I wanted this guy to be the centerpiece. I was looking for a long time, like months and months and months, to find the perfect kind of centerpiece platter for that whole um, plate wall display, if you, <laughs> I don't know what to call that. Um, and I finally found this one. And the reason why I like this one is the curtains that we have on the bay window have like little dandelions on them and they look exactly like this, kind of like a hand-drawn dandelion. And so I like that it's on the curtain and then it's gonna be on the wall above the curtain. And so I pinned this and it's something that I've been wanting to get. I was gonna order it online. And so when I saw that they had it in the store, I asked my husband and he said that I could just go ahead and pick it up now. So I'm super excited to have this. It looks even more beautiful than it did online. I'm also gonna do a little home tour once I have all of the rooms decorated. And so I will do a kitchen and dining room home tour. And so you guys will be able to see what the final product looks like once I get that video up. So that is everything that I got from Pottery Barn and the Anthropology. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And again, congratulations to Elizabeth V. I'm super excited for you and I will get that shipped out to you. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed and followed my Instagram and Twitter. I've been loving looking at your profiles and pictures and things like that. And I'm sure I will have another giveaway before too long because I just love doing them. So I hope that you guys are all doing well and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!